Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to go back into the wet dry world, but we gotta do this in a kind of a special way. I'm gonna try and raise the water to its highest point. What I like to do is stand right on that line there, duck, and then backflip into the painting and that usually gets me in at the highest spot. Uh, the reason why I need to do this is because this star, Go to Town for Red Coins, requires me to activate the cannon. And as you can tell, the water level is now at its highest, highest spot. Actually, it's higher than what you could achieve with that switch there. And you just kind of got in the way, didn't you? <sighs> you know what? For doing that, you're going to be squished. <laughs> anyway, the reason why you want to do that is because this pink ba bomb here cannot be ex accessed unless the water is at this height. And you can't do it while you're in the level alone. You have to actually enter the level like this at its highest point in order to raise the water level to this point. So jump in the painting as high as you possibly can and you'll be able to reach this easily. And there we go. Now it is unlocked for future levels. This is pretty much the only time you need to jump into the painting at that height. But uh, since it is a necessity, gotta be taught. <laughs> Gotta be done at least once to set this up, and I figured I would do it in the a star that requires it, just for the sake of organization. Okay, see that that cage in the corner? Not not this cage, that one right there. You want to get yourself in there, believe it or not, because there's an entirely different area that you can access now with this cannon, and you can't do this normally. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's so many things that are possible in Super Mario 64 by abusing the game's physics that you probably could get here other ways. <laughs> anyway, try and swim at this pace. Listen to the timing. Hear that when I do that sound effect? That is me properly um, hitting the fastest speed I can possibly go. And I'll go right directly underneath where you came from and lower the water level to its lowest point, because we are going to be doing some parkour for red coins, yeah! This place is a Mario platformer's dream, except for the fact that the camera in this place is typically crappers. <laughs> oh yeah, There's a, you gotta find red coins and they are typically, no! They are typically in, no! <laughs> Inside these cracked boxes, like so. Can I get across without having to go around the other side? Probably, okay. Here we go, there is two. I should probably go over to those, these two over here, because they're really annoying to get to. This one here, off. Oh, this one right here, and the other one up here is really precise. There's a red coin up on top of this building. And you gotta triple jump up there really, really precisely. Oh, that's why you have to do it precisely. <laughs> it's well, maybe it's not too precise, but it is precise enough that you can easily make mistakes on this. All right, one, two, three. Yeah, I got it. And there's the next one. I don't know if you're you're able to reach that any other way, but that's the way that I do it. Uh, like, maybe you're able to long jump up, up to this place from that higher platform, which you can use I mean, that pole from that chimney to get up to that spot. Uh, but otherwise I just... Eh, otherwise I just triple jump like that. It's This whole area is just one big personal preference, basically. Uh, I think there's one in here... yes. I know there's one on top of the roof. Oop. Uh, watch this. If you jump at the pole at its lowest point, it'll actually glitch and land on the ground instead of the pole. See that? This, it's it's kind of weird, but it's it's a good example that this game is fun, but it lacks a bit of polish. <laughs> I guess it's a sign of the times, but as I said, it's still a, a fun game to play. So, And this, this lets you raise the water level up, in it, as well as letting you get um, that metal cap there if you want it. But uh, I'm not going to need it for this particular star. There is uh, two more coins. You got to do some wall kicks to get. Oh shoot! I hit the a diagonal edge. The camera is not very helpful. Oh, oh, got on this side. I was actually expecting to get on the uh, other side first, but that's fine. 
There is number seven. And... Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no. Oh, yes, you do. I couldn't save myself that time. Dang it. All right. Back in the grass. And back up here. There we go. Got it this time. There you go. And as you could tell when I passed through that area, the Shadow Star is right over there. So I'll be able to side flip up there. And... Oh, I missed the whole... I mean, I missed the edge. That's okay. Still got the star. Here we go! Yay! Yeah, it takes care of another one. And for the last star, well, besides the 100 coin star in this one, it's a quick race through to downtown. What you're supposed to do in this one is... Oh, I forgot to raise the water level. <laughs> uh, what you're supposed to do is hit a switch and race over to where the star is in that underground uh, town type area. Which is what I'm going to be doing shortly, if at all possible. Uh, no. It's really easy to do side flips in this game, by the way, because of how slow Mario moves. It's almost like slow motion how he does that um, sideways movement like that. Okay, just raise the water level of that, and because I unlocked the cannon in the last one, I'll be able to get over to that cannon. Remember, if you don't have the cannon unlocked, raise the water level to its highest point outside the level itself by jumping in the painting at the highest point climb up on that platform that I just passed the floating one and you'll be able to reach the platform with the pink ba bomb over there okay so back in town we go and just gotta aim myself right I always like to use the, tr the cloud transition between this dark blue sky and this light blue sky in order to aim my angle properly, I just go right in the center of it and aim directly for the center of this cage, and I never miss. Just as long as I aim for the center of it. That's just the way that I like to line it up. Alright, back in the City of Doom. Uh, I wonder if I'll have enough time to do the 100 coin star in this part, because this level is kind of slow going. Uh, the 100 coin star is probably the easiest 100 coin star in the game. Well, one of the easiest, because you have the water to break your fall for most things, and yeah. Alright, so you have the switch right here. And... just gotta wait for it to go back down. And once you press the switch, it will make... A star up here... Over here. See that? That crate that it gives you access to that spot right there. So you gotta hit the, the switch with a vanish cap on. Eh. And then what you're supposed to do from there is uh, rush over to the switch, get inside the cage, use the block to get up, and yeah. But where is the vanish cap? That is the six million dollar question. I forgot where that is, and that's a rather important part. <laughs> this is all, this entire level, I mean, this entire star here is about uh, rushing through the level, hence why it's called Quick Race Through Downtown. <laughs> uh, so, okay, there's that. But where? I don't remember where the blue cap is, you know, the vanish cap. And it's, everything's done in here, so you don't have to worry about... Um, having to race through the water, you just would not have enough time if you use the Vanish Cap um, from the other side. Actually, I don't think there is a Vanish Cap from the other side coming from the gate. Oh, there it is. I mean, like in the other part of town. Alright, let's slap this on. Let's race. Go. Nope, don't hit your face on the wall. Ah, that's fine, though. This lasts long enough for me to do this just fine. Just run right over the switch. Go around the edges. Through the cage, you could probably just wall kick up here if you were, if you were good enough to. Oh, oh, like if I were to fail on it, like I did, you could probably just wall kick up there without the box. In all honesty, yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> so that's not the intended method. You're supposed to use the box to get up there, but if you're good at wall kicks, there you go. 
Yeah, I probably should do the 100 coin star of this part because this is only going to be uh, around 9 minutes otherwise. So I'm going to jump in at the lowest point and start get collecting coins from the ground up. Let's start. Got Skeeter right off the bat. And if, no, 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 stop doing that. So quick. Just go right, on, right underneath my feet. That's a problem to me. Uh, probably should break these, because I know they contain pocket change. Why there's pocket change in the blocks is beyond me, but there is, so don't forget about the blocks. The great majority of the coins in this level are just right out in the open, in, in that they're either enemies or uh, they're the blue coin switch, which is still right out in the open. So you shouldn't have much trouble with this at all. Uh, Skeeters, when they're on land like that, they react quite a lot like the scuttle bugs. So uh, you, you, you pretty much know how to defeat them already. I don't want that number, but I do want what's inside that box, because I think what's inside that box are a bunch of coins. Yes, quite a lot of them actually. Don't miss any of them good. What's inside this? Eh. Eh. That was completely useless. <laughs> I don't want your help just yet. Uh, I'm going to hit this instead of collecting the blue coins around the edge. There we go. I already have 58. Uh, I guess I should start raising the water level. Because I need to start collecting the coins at the higher areas. I'm not I'm not gonna use the heave hose if at all possible because they are a little bit haphazard and I prefer to avoid them if at all possible for the sake of safety. Even though it's rather easy to recover your uh, life in the water, it's still you know, you don't wanna mess with it too much because you could be caught in a chain of sorts. A chain of death. Um, no fire, no fire, bad fire, bad fire. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna raise the water level up to this height now. I killed all the Skeeters, so I don't have to worry about them bothering me at the water surface. And, okay. Doing well so far. Uh, there's 30 rather easy coins that you can get inside town, but, uh, uh, you can actually collect all 100 coins on this side of the side of the town if you are um, uh, savvy enough at the, uh, at defeating enemies. Am I able to jump back up there? No, I'm not. So I'm gonna have to go around, aren't I? So it's up to you whether or uh, wherever you want to get the remainder of your coins. I'm just gonna collect as many coins as I possibly can. Uh, around this area and then go over to the edge of t I mean then go over to the underwater town to get the rest uh, But first I want to get these around here because they're kind of tricky to get And I'm also going to get these Whoa! My coinage is... No, 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 don't you dare! Oh, that was close uh, Looks like I missed a coin. Oh wait, maybe I didn't Maybe I didn't got it. Awesome. Okay, so I got 84. I could actually go over to the underwater area now and finish this off. I mean the uh, underground town area and finish it off. But I'll just keep going along here and see how many more I can collect with ease. More coins there. Wait, where'd the rest of them go? Or was there only three here? I kind of hard to believe there's only three. Oh, I pushed it too far. <laughs> Smack that switch and go up here. There's a bunch of coins. Like there's some over here. And oh! Failed at the trick to get the coins all in one shot. I want these! I really want these. Oh, actually, I think I'm gonna be able to get all uh, 100 coins just in this first area without having to go to town. Because I'm already at. Oh! Oh! Almost did it there. Because I'm at 96, and here are the last five. Well, technically last four, because there's a star, and if you're still lacking coins, remember that there is a Chakya over there that will give you five more coins, and if you'd like to go into the town, just use the cannon on the other side of the level, but I got 100 here, well, 101, so I'm good. Here we go. And yes, I would like to save, and with that, I'm going to exit the course. I hope you enjoyed this part, because I'm going to end it off here, and I hope to see you in the next part as well. 
Chau, chau.